Em Brasília, 19 horas. Tonight, thousands of fires are still raging in the Amazon. The main consensus, the fires were caused by human activity. It's not a natural accident. Firefighters, no match for flames this ferocious and this intense. My heart is crying. Blood! 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 The new administration has actively stimulated more agriculture activity and development and has greatly reduced enforcement of legal, illegal deforestation within the Amazon. There are 80% more fires now than the same period of time last year. Hundreds of indigenous people live in the Amazon. People who have protected the land, stewarded the land, and it's through this relationship to land that has led to the Amazon being one of the most important sites for carbon store, acting as the lungs of the world. And it's through strong relationships to land and the traditional practices of indigenous people all over the world that we all can breathe air. The Amazon rainforest was burning. It was burning, it was being devastated. And when I saw that, I just realized how much more work that we have to do. I was reminded of all the important work that's happening beyond um, animal rights and animal liberation and how important it is for us to build coalitions with each other across yes. movements, um, to build a mass movement to challenge all forms of oppression. To, to fight for the Amazon goes so together. It doesn't matter that we are far away. We have to speak up in anywhere we want. We can't be silent. We can't. We have to learn from our brothers, our Canadian brothers, how to speak up, how to fight for our rights. So um, I want to thank you, everyone, for being here. And I want you to always uh, be to participate in the movements of the Brazilian community here in Toronto or in any community because it, it changes us as human beings.
representativo para a gente estar aqui fazendo um protesto na resistência contra essas políticas e essa desestruturação de todos os órgãos do, 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 do governo. A música é de guerra, mas a poesia é da paz. Então a gente está lutando aqui pelos nossos recursos naturais, pelos nossos direitos à educação, à ciência, que é extremamente importante. E por isso que a gente está marcando historicamente os brasileiros que estão aqui em Toronto. É, para lembrar dessa importância nesse dia importante, que a gente tem muito que lutar. Oh, quen, quen, oh, quen, quen.